One of the biggest hurdles in achieving a peaceful society is stopping the gun violence that plagues our nation's streets. No case better demonstrates this than the tragic story of young Trayvon Martin, in a, a spasm of national paranoia. And promoted by the American Legislative Exchange Council, you know, the, the Koch brothers, ALEC, since the summer of 2005, 16 states have now adopted shoot first laws, like the one that Florida adopted in 2005. This, it used to be in America that if you killed somebody, you had to demonstrate that you had a reasonable fear that they were going to harm you. Now you don't have to prove that. You can merely assert it. Little wonder that the St. Petersburg Times found that five years after the law was signed by then Governor Jeb Bush, who called it a good common sense anti-crime bill, claims of justifiable homicides in Florida have more than tripled, from just over 30 per year average to more than 100 in 2010. In that time, the so-called stand your ground defense was used in 93 cases involving 65 deaths, and in the majority of those cases, it actually worked. Killers got off. Police and prosecutors across the country have condemned these laws, but been ignored by people frightened by watching too many crime TV shows and listening to politicians who basically just pander to fear. The reality is, and we did a show about this a week or two ago, just pulling out all the numbers. The reality is that right now, America's murder rate is lower than it's been any time in the last half, half century. It's almost half of the peak that we reached right around the end of the Reagan administration. The, the murder rate had gone up consistently through the Reagan administration. Clinton came into office, started falling, and it has been falling ever since. We are safer than we've ever been. But fear still sells. And fear, combined with these shoot-first laws, allows people like George Zimmerman, who had a history of calling 9-11 over 40 times, and various fears, and a semi-automatic pistol, it allows them to kill people. Here's what it sounded like. There's just someone screaming outside. And you don't know why? I don't know why. I think they're yelling help, but I don't know. Just send someone quick. Say, ah. Okay. Does he look hurt? <laughs> I can't see him. I don't want to go out there. I don't know what's going on. So you think he's yelling help? Yes. All right, what is your <laughs> number? There's gunshots. You just heard gunshots? Yes. The state has now empowered a grand jury to look into the case, but only because of the national publicity. How many more kids, particularly minority kids, are going to have to be murdered by frightened men like Zimmerman before these laws that give killers immunity? are dismantled.